Something sticky. Ugh. Ugh. Okay guys, I am having zip fizz this morning because I do not feel like feeling like a zombie. Uh, so we're gonna have this. Also guys, this is why I can't have nice things. Like I dropped the bottle a couple of days ago, my water bottle and the cap flipped off. Also, I don't know where the bottle opener is right now. It could be in my car, but I don't know that for sure. So I'm just gonna try to take this off. I'm sorry zip fizz, like you deserve better than this. Although this safety seal, oh, came off like a champ. Yes, that was a win. This is blue raspberry. And am I the only one that has to close the top too when you're finished? Like, what's the point of closing it? There's nothing else in there. You're gonna throw it in the recycling. Who cares? I need it to be closed. So I'm heading to the gym again this morning. I just don't feel like doing turbo gym, so I'm not going to. I get a lot of questions from people about if I have like a set workout routine and things like that. And honestly, the answer is no. But the thing is, I like exercise. I like to move. So I don't really worry about not moving because I don't have a plan. It's just picking what I want to do that day. So sometimes I get in a long stretch where all I want to do is turbo jam and I can do that six days a week. Never ask any questions. Other times, like now, it's like, I just kind of want to go walk on the treadmill. So I'm going to go walk on the treadmill. As long as you find an exercise that you like, it's not really going to feel like anything out of the ordinary. It's, it's something you're going to want to do. For me, I personally like walking on the treadmill because it gives me a chance to listen to music. You'll find the reasons you like to do certain exercises. I love Turbo Jam when I want to feel dancey. So just find what you like to do and then just make it a habit to do it. So it's not like, oh, I don't feel like doing Turbo Jam, so I'm not going to do anything today. It's like, this is when I normally move in the morning. So if I don't want to do that, I got to find some other way to move. Milton. Oh goodness. You love your bubby? Oh, Maddie. Look at my pretty angel. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Good girl, Maddie. Good girl. In the words of R. Kelly, the Pied Piper of R&B, now usually I don't do this, but I have just scrambled myself up three eggs and butter. I was like, you know what? I'm hungry. I don't want an Atkins bar. I don't want to eat my cheeseburger yet. But I got some eggs in the fridge and I got some butter in the fridge. So let's do this. To be honest, I'm not really tracking this week or next week. I'm just making sure that I'm not eating like a jack hole. And as long as I can make good choices, then I'm not being too strict on my macros for the day. I'm still staying under carbs. I'm still not overeating a ton. It's just I'm not weighing and measuring and doing what I normally do. But I'm gonna have these and then later on today I'll have my burger and then I'll see if I want anything else. Okay guys, it is time for the burger of my dreams. I'm gonna let us wrap that up and enjoy lunch and then get back to work. Okay guys, I am done with work and you know what that means. Keto Crate unboxing, my very first Keto Crate unboxing ever. I don't really want to make unboxing videos. I uh, just watch Aaron's video. Like that's what I watch. He gives such good detail and background on all the products in each box. Plus he runs an awesome giveaway that like I'm never going to win. So like, but still enter it, watch it. So I'm just going to show you everything in here, but I'm not going to go into nearly the amount of detail that he would, but like, I'm so excited. Ah! I'm opening the crate and orange is my favorite color and someone commented that my nails match the keto crate and that just cracked me up so I'm very excited everyone oh my gosh first we have shrewd foods protein crisps I have had these I think but 
I'm still gonna review them. Like even if I've had things, you guys, I'm going to make review videos about them just to tell you my overall opinion on them. So I do like these. I will get into more detail in a future video. Wink, wink. But I'm so excited. All of these little papers that I'm sure will go into the recycling bin once I figure out if I want any of the coupon codes. Bunker Hill cheese, I've never had. Matt and Mega talk about it all the time. I'm so excited. The buffalo flavor, ooh, y'all know I love hot food. Like, <laughs> yay, okay. Legendary cheddar bacon seasoned almonds. Now, we know I've kind of been going through it with almonds, but like maybe I can try these after my surgery, you guys. Like, the possibilities are endless. Oh, Stoka Bar. Yeah, y'all don't even gotta ask. Okay, y'all know our rides for a Stoka Bar. And this is the vanilla one, which is my favorite. Yay! This is, I'm so, it's like Christmas. I know it's almost Christmas, but like it's like Christmas right now. Like, oh my God. Oh my God, the goodies peanut butter mix. You guys know how I feel about the brownies and was the chocolate chips. Spoiler alert, I loved them. So I'm so excited to try this. I'm so happy. Fat snacks, I've had these before. When I went to go see Matt and Mega, they like loaded me up with so many snacks to bring home and fat snacks was a part of it. I liked it. I thought it tasted a little bland, but I'm excited to give you an in-depth review of this for my new video. You guys, Coco Polo. I have been seeing everyone talk about this all the time. And by everyone, I basically mean Kelly Keto. But still, I'm so excited. And this is the hazelnut flavor. Like, oh my gosh. This is like one of the best decisions I've made in a very long time. Speaking of that, Chalk Zero, what? What? I've never had Chalk Zero. I have seen it. I've just never like made the leap to buy it. And now, when I try this, I will know whether or not it's worth it. Oh my gosh. And then finally, let me make sure I ain't missing nothing. Okay, finally we have Keto Bars. Now, Matt and Mega love Keto Bars. The ones that I tried, they're just really dense and they're bitter because they don't use a lot of sweetener. I mean, they use a lot of great ingredients, which is why they love them so much. But still, like, you know how they be sacrificing taste for, like, nutrition? And I'm all like, give me them Atkins bars because I would rather have taste. And, like, nutrition's like, meh. But Chella told me that, like, if you put some almond butter on top of these, like, that could probably set it off and I'm excited to try that. So I haven't tried the chocolate peanut butter flavor. I've only tried the chocolate and the mint and they're not bad, but they're not like sweet, tasty treats. They're like nutritious chocolate desserts, but you know, we're used to eating junk over here, right? So this is not junk, high quality ingredients. Oh my God, guys, like I am so excited. I'm also excited because I'm done working, so now I'm gonna watch some television and it's been a great day. Okay guys, today was a great day. I'm gonna give it like a B plus in terms of work productivity because to be honest, like I took some long breaks in there, but I kept my emails down. I am still around 20 and I watched two great movies today. So during my lunch break, on and off, I watched Table 19, it had Anna Kendrick in it. It was just really random. I was like, you know what? I wanna watch this movie. Has anyone seen it? Turned out to be really good. Tonight I watched Ready Player One, which was also just really good. Like I'm a huge like sci-fi, time travel, dystopian future, matrix type person and like, that was pretty awesome. So I had a great night and now I am going to go to sleep. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays and monthly weigh-ins. And starting next year, I'm gonna review all the awesome products that I receive in my keto crates. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you tomorrow.